y'all and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and this is my channel where I share all about my knitting, crocheting, and crafting adventures. So today is Tuesday, April 13th. I have quite a bit to share with you today. I am sitting here with my iced coffee because it's, it's getting to iced coffee season. It's a little cooler this week than it was last week, but I've still, I've been doing my normal coffee and then I've switched to iced coffee. It's just all about the coffee here in the morning, so that's what y'all always get to hear about. But just got some iced coffee. I brought a work in progress. I have two finished objects, some mail to share with you, a little bit of admin stuff to go over about some summer sock camp stuff that is coming up very, very soon. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the crazy sock lady. And we do have a Ravelry group for this podcast. I will have links to everywhere that you can find me, links to the Ravelry group, project pages, shops, all of that's going to be right down in the description box below this video. So yeah, lots of summer sock cam stuff that we're going to go over. <laughs> it's coming up. We still have till June 1st for summer sock cam to start, but so many things are coming up over this next kind of month and a half that we've got a bit to share today. I almost did not record a podcast today. <laughs> I've been like up to my neck <laughs> in prep for VIP camper slots. I have so much work to get done today and tomorrow for those. Um, but I thought, no, do a little bit of normalcy. You need your normal routine. So I'm sitting down to record and then I'm going to edit it and get this up tomorrow as normal for y'all. And then it gives you the chance from Wednesday to Thursday when the VIP camper slots go up um, to hear a little bit more about those. I did share on Instagram and then I also put on the YouTube community tab that I have a Google Doc that has all of the information about VIP camper slots. So I'm going to link that down below in the description box or you can find it via the link in my Instagram profile or the YouTube community tab. This just has more information about it all written out, has dates and times for the VIP camper Zooms so that you can pick a slot that works for you. So let's go into the VIP camper stuff just a bit. Um, made some notes here. So the listings for these are gonna go up April 15th, which is a Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern. I would suggest you set an alarm. I have no idea how these are gonna go. None, first year ever doing this, first time ever doing anything like this. So I have no idea how this is gonna go, but they are limited. Um, there are quite a few slots though throughout camps. There's going to be two groups per week. There's a total of nine weeks in camp two groups per week, 15 VIP campers per group. So that's quite a few slots. Um, there's only 15 per group because I want to keep them small. I want this to be a special experience where we all get to know each other a little bit. We get that interaction with each other. Um, I just want it to be a unique experience for all of you. So I am keeping the groups limited to 15 per group. Um, what do you get with the VIP camper? So you will get a group chat with your 15 people in your group and myself and any camp sponsors or camp counselors, any of those that want to join. We'll talk more about camp counselors in a minute because that's new as well. But you get a group chat through the app Discord. It is a free app. Um, does not cost anything. I will provide you with a link to join that. And then you will have your separate private 15 people, 15 VIP campers and the other people that can join, like I said, but that'll be private. I'm limiting who can join that. And you have that for the full week, the full span of the week for the dates for the week that you purchase a VIP camper slot. You get one Zoom for that week. Dates and times are listed in the Google Doc. There's morning options and evening options. You get a new sock pattern that is exclusive to VIP campers from June 1st to July 31st. Then 
um, August 1st, it will go live to the general public. That is exclusive to VIP campers throughout the camp. And then you also get a discount for Crazy Sock Lady patterns that is good from June 1st until the end of August. Make sure you read that document. There's an email address in there that you can get in touch with me if you have any questions after you read that document. But I think I've pretty much covered everything within that document. The cost for VIP camper slots is 25 US dollars. And yeah, just make sure you head over and read that document. These will go up in my Etsy shop. They will be the only thing in the Etsy shop on Thursday because that's gonna keep it easier. So if you go looking for anything else on Thursday, it'll be back. Um, but for Thursday, I'm gonna keep that the only thing in there just to avoid any confusion. Okay, so um, camp merchandise, we'll go over that in a second. Camp counselors, let's chat those for a minute. So camp counselors is a new thing this year. I have been promoted, I've promoted myself to Camp Director K, that was Camp Counselor K last year. I have promoted myself to Camp Director. All this means is that I have a counselor per cabin in the Ravelry group now. There is um, the four cabins like there were last year. You can watch the camp video to find out more details on those. But all that the camp counselors are gonna be, they're gonna be my extra set of eyes. Um, just a little extra help for me because last year I got overwhelmed with all of the Ravelry threads and trying to keep up and feel like I was really getting a chance to interact. So this year they're just gonna be that extra set of eyes. I'm still gonna be checking things um, as well, but it's just gonna be a little bit of, um, I don't even know. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit of extra help and extra eyes for me to know that if I miss something, they're gonna be there to help me catch it in the chatter thread and the FO thread for their specific cabin. I'm gonna list all the counselors um, Instagrams down below if you want to go follow them. Um, and I'll put what cabin they are for as well. So for our Magic Loop cabin, we have Lindsay, our wildcard cabin, we have Heather, our nine inch cabin, we have Kristen, and our DPN cabin, we have Natalie. So those are gonna be our extra helpers throughout camp. I'm so excited to have them on board as camp counselors. They are excited to be helping out this year. Um, so definitely if you want to follow them and get to know them a little better, you can head over to their Instagrams that are linked below and do that. I've known all of these ladies for years. Um, so yeah, it's, it's fun to have them on board. I know they're going to do great answering questions and helping out in the threads. And yeah, just super excited to have an extra set, four extra sets of eyes <laughs> for camp this year. All right, last thing about camp camp merchandise. So I have the Spreadshirt shop. Some of you may have seen that already. I've talked about it before. That is where I have right now. The only thing in there is Crazy Sock Lady um, merchandise, Scrappy Sunday merchandise, Team Cuff Down, and Team Toe Up, I think is all that's in there right now. But there will be merchandise there on 420, April 20th at 9 a.m. Eastern. I wouldn't worry about this stuff selling out because it's through a third party. Like I'm not, I don't have it in here in stock. So that's where you're gonna find like t-shirts, sweatshirts. There'll be backpacks, stickers, coffee cups, water bottles, like all the things are gonna be there and it's gonna have the camp logo on it. And um, I'll have the color logo and then I'll also have an option for just like the outline black and white logo if that's more your style or the outline will just be in black but um yeah so there will be options I would not worry about that stuff selling out I guess they could sell out of something but I wouldn't necessarily worry about it um with that website so the stuff I'm gonna have in my Etsy shop as far as camp merchandise the only items that there are going to be this year that I'm personally selling are enamel pins. Here is our camp pin. There we go. It is so cute. It has the year on it. I love the little clothesline with the socks. So I will have this and then I will also have a progress keeper. 
with the same logo. And these have a gold lobster clasp. So all of my other progress keepers that I've had in the shop have had a silver lobster clasp. This has a gold since it is a special edition. So those are the two things that are gonna be in my Etsy shop. Those also will be April 20th at 9 a.m. Eastern. The spread shirt stuff I may put up like before that, the day before, I don't know. Cause like I said, I would not worry about it selling out, but April 20th, 9 a.m. Eastern is when the pins and the progress keepers will be in the Etsy shop. If those sell out, I do have a limited amount, but I have a ton of them. I think I ordered almost double last year's total that I ordered for the last year's camp pins. So I have a ton. If they sell out, I will do a pre-order for them. So don't be overly concerned. If I see that they've sold out, I'm gonna put up a pre-order and leave it up for a bit. Um, maybe all summer. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. And then I'll order them as I can and get them shipped out as I can. I will not have a ship by date for those. The ones that I'm putting up that are ready to go, those will ship out by mid May so that you will hopefully have them by June 1st. A lot of them will go out way before mid May, but I'll, I'll work on getting those shipped out up to that point. They'll all be out by that point. I think that covers it all. I'm sure I've missed something, forgot something. There's just so much for this year's camp and it's so exciting, but it's definitely a bit nerve wracking because I'm just terrified I'm gonna forget something and something's gonna fall through the cracks. <laughs> I have so many notes and to-do lists on my desk right now for camp. It's a bit insane, but um, all fun, all exciting, loving it so much. So excited that y'all are so excited about it but I think that covers all of the details that we needed to go over today for that. Um, oh, I did also wanna mention, I've had quite a few people ask if they can get the Summer Sock Camp logo, just like the file sent to them, or if it's gonna be on a patch or something. The patch thing I did not even think about. Maybe that's something I'll look into for next year because I know so many of you have said, well, I sew bags. I would love to make a bag for just myself and have the patch to put on it or the patch to put on a jacket or something. And I think that's so fun. So that may be something I look into for next year. Um, but as far as like sending out the logo for purposes for shops or individually, that's not something that I'm open to doing. Um, that could get very tricky. Um, you know, it is a copyright logo for me and it's just, yeah, that's not something that I'm looking into doing that could get pretty tricky. So not an option. I apologize. The only things with the logos are going to be through the Spreadshirt shop, through my Etsy shop, or one of the sponsor items. Um, make sure you're following the sponsors. A couple of them are working on getting restocks for you. And the Desert Vista Dye Works does still have her yarn available. You can go purchase that from her web website still. So that's it for camp stuff. <laughs> I do want to remind you guys that the Musselberg hat knit along is coming to an end on April 15th. So next week's episode, I will announce the winners for that knit along. So make sure you get your finished objects into that um, finished objects thread if you've finished your hat. If you've finished your hat, you've done better than I have because I still have not finished <laughs> either of mine. <laughs> I need to um to come up with something here for I just have a paper towel wrapped around my cup because I can't stand all the drippy water and my hands being wet. I need to come up with something to put on my cup. All right, that's it for announcements and things. Now let's talk knitting cuz I need to talk about some knitting and not announcements and things. <laughs> so in here I have two finished objects. I did not grab my sock blocker, but that's okay. This is in the bag from um, Carrie of Stolen Minutes, the one of our camp sponsors. And I am using one of the camp yarns. So I'm using Amanda of Mandy's Makings Summer Sock Camp 2021 yarn. And I have knit 
two pairs of shorty socks. So here's the yarn. Here's what I have left. It is a full 100 gram skein and then a mini skein. That's what's left. And I'll show you, I'll just go through them, both the pairs. So here's one pair that I finished. These are both shorty socks and I will have, these will be making appearances on a couple different videos that will go up throughout summer sock camp. Um, I'm basically just following vanilla socks on magic loop for these. I did knit these on magic loop, just a shorter leg and a shorter cuff. And I will be going over details on that in the videos in camp. So this one, I is like my super short cuff. <laughs> the other one's a little longer, super short leg and cuff. And I've done a contrast cuff heel and toe for this one. I love it so much. I love the speckles in this yarn. Then the second finished pair, I just did a contrast heel turn. That's another thing that'll be up during camp. Carry of Stolen Minutes. If you watch our One More Row podcast, which we were talking about, we desperately need to record an episode. We've just been both been super busy. So maybe next week or the week after we'll get to record. But um, she did a contrast heel turn on one of her socks. And I was like, what? So this will be a tutorial for camp this year. I just think it's so much fun to add that extra little pop and it uses like next to no yarn. This is still a shorty sock, but just a little bit longer of a leg and a cuff. I've done knit two, purl two ribbing for both of these and US one 2.25 millimeter chow goo magic loop 32 inch is the needles that I use. So two pairs of shorty socks. Super excited to have these for summer and that they're in the summer sock camp colorway from Amanda. And I still have just a little bit of yarn left. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So that is it for finished objects. I actually only brought one work in progress down because honestly, these are the only two things I've worked on. I've picked up the yarnable socks with the March colorway a little bit. I worked on them last night for a little bit too, but not enough to really show any progress yet. So probably next week there'll be more progress on those, but I was very focused on getting those shorty socks done so I can record the videos that are needed for it. And then I've also been working on this, another tutorial. So this is more yarn from Amanda of Mandy's Makings. She sent me some yarn to use for tutorials for summer sock camp. There's her logo. And this is her stomping grapes colorway. It is on her 7525 superwash merino nylon blend 415 yards and just oh, look at that. I'm uh, like I need a sweater in this. I have not been in the sweater knitting mood but sometimes there's just a color that I see that I'm like I need a sweater in that and y'all know me and this is like this is one of my colors so much. So I've been working on the tutorial for Haya Haya Flyers or Addy Flexi Flips. They are both the same, just different brands. So I'll show you first what the Haya Haya Flyer looks like. So this is a needle that'll be a tutorial for this year's camp. This will go up on June 1st. The Haya Haya Flyers or Addy Flexi Flips. And then also I'll be doing socks on two circulars. These are cuff down tutorials. Um, socks on two circulars. And for that I'll be using Chow Goo 16 inch, two 16 inch needles. These and the Chow Goo are US 1 2.25 millimeters. Well, I'll be using. If you have a size that you use for socks, I recommend using that. But that's the size that I'll be using. Um... And those are linked within the Amazon storefront below, but the flyers have been out of stock. I keep checking and they're, it's like they go back in stock and then they immediately go back out. So definitely keep an eye out 
for those, but those are the two if you're wanting to do the new tutorials, the new big tutorials, I should say, for this year's camp, those are the two that will be out, the flyers or flexi flips, and then two circulars. You could also use 24 inch circulars. I just prefer 16 inch. So this is the sock, just a plain vanilla sock. I'm using the pattern Vanilla Socks on Magic Loop because it's essentially the same. You have needle one and you have needle two. The layout of where your heel and all your gusset stitches goes, everything's the same as Magic Loop. But just look at that colorway, so pretty. So size medium, 64 stitches. I did do a knit one, a pearl one, ribbing for the cuff. Slip stitch, heel flap, everything is as called for in the pattern. And I am ready to do the toe part of the tutorial. I just have not gotten around to doing that yet. I got this ready to go Sunday. I finished up the foot. I just didn't have a chance to record the toe part of it yesterday. So I'll get to that either today or tomorrow and then be ready to edit that one. It went fairly quickly. I was excited about how quickly it went. And I did have um, questions about, cause last year there were written patterns to accompany every big tutorial for how to knit socks. But like I said, this year I'm just using the magic loop pattern because for the flyers and for the 16 inch, they are essentially the same as magic loop. The difference of how you work the needles is, is the only thing. But as far as the layout of everything, it is the same as magic loop. You have needle one, you have needle two. So everything is the same. Um, there would be no difference in the written pattern at all, none. So I'm not doing a written pattern. I had some people concerned about well, how I'd be compensated for the YouTube tutorials. They love to buy those patterns to um, financially support the work that I put into the tutorials. There is always the ads you can watch on YouTube. I don't recommend watching them if they're over like 30 to 60 seconds though, because some of them can be long. Don't sit there for that long. <laughs> um, but there are those I do financially um, get a tiny bit of money when those are watched. There is also the support the podcast link below where you can um, buy a coffee and that is always an option. Buying any of the other patterns that I have are an option anything like that. Um, but yeah, there won't be any written patterns to accompany them. I just suggest the vanilla socks on magic loop for both of those. Okay. Sadly, that's all I brought down for works in progress because that's really been my focus the past week. Full camp prep around here. And I'm so excited about it. I'm having so much fun with it. I ordered a new two new batteries. Actually, it was like a pack of two for my Canon EOS M50 camera that I use. And then I also ordered a new SD card because I have so many, like my battery is always dying now <laughs> because I'm using the camera so much more than just to record here and there. And then my memory card is getting full as well. I don't like to delete things off of the memory card. I save them onto the computer but then I still like to have them on the SD card until everything is completely done and up on YouTube, just in case, <laughs> especially with tutorials. I don't want something to get accidentally deleted on the computer and then it's just gone. So I always like to have the backup, like everything's still on the card until I know it's up on YouTube, it's good, ready to go. So I ordered another card and more batteries. Anyways, that was a little side note, I guess. Okay. Oh, I have been doing a diamond painting. So I shared that with you guys a while back. It's in the box right here. It was, that's why I thought of it. So the craft ease diamond painting, I've been working on this a little bit. I had intentionally, like they sent it to me to review and I was going to do it with Wyatt and he's, he did it for like 15 minutes and he really wasn't that into it. I thought he would be loving it, but he just really wasn't that into it. Austin though, really enjoys the process. So he has sat down with me multiple times to work on it. So I've been doing that here and there and recording like a vlog type 
review video for the Crafties diamond painting. So keep an eye out for that. It'll probably be a couple of weeks. I haven't been working on it quite as much as I should be, but it'll get there. It'll get done. Okay. I have lots of mail to share. And then we have a giveaway winner to announce from last episode. So some of the mail is over here. So I did have a viewer reach out to me and want to donate some Addy Flexi Flips for prizes. So she donated a US 0, a US 1 2.25 millimeter, and a US 1 2.5 millimeter, because Addy's kind of weird with their sizes. But basically a 2.5 millimeter, 2.25 millimeter, and two millimeters. So she donated three sets of those Addy Flexi Flips. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna handle a giveaway for these yet. Um, I'm gonna think on it for a bit. I kind of think a pre camp giveaway would be nice with these. Um, that way, if somebody wants to use them for camp for the flyers slash flexi flip tutorial, they can, but I just haven't decided yet. So once I think more on that, we'll do something with that. But that was so generous of her and I'm so excited to be able to give those away. Okay, I have a whole thing of yarn over here from Shelly of Daisy Stitch Co. And we're just gonna start right back here and go through all of these. So she sent over so many goodies. So there is a mini color palette called Heartbeat. It is five 20 gram skeins. The names are Ruby, Think Pink, Heartbeat, Lavender, and Amethyst. These are fingering weight, an 80-20 superwash merino wool nylon blend. Such pretty colorways. And we have another mini skein set, and this is the Vintage Denim. Same thing, 520 gram skeins in stone, vintage dim denim, <laughs> chambray, dust and denim, and dusty boots. Same base? Yes. Again, beautiful colorways. And then we have some sock sets. So let's see, there's two that I want to save. Oh, okay, we'll do the sock sets last. So these two skeins, oh, this one's gorgeous. So this is on her Texas Strong Fingering, which is the 80-20 Superwash Merino Wool Nylon Base, 400 yards to 100 grams. And this colorway is Mission Fig. Look how beautiful that is. These are my colors, aren't they? Oh, look at that. I love it. And then that kind of blue, bluish purple in there as well. Okay, the camera cut me off. Um, <laughs> don't know where it cut me off at either. This one is my color as well though. This is Mauled Merlot. And same base, everything like that, but look at that. I mean, this is exactly my color. This is my favorite color right here. Y'all wanna know something? I have a picture, it's kind of not the exact color. I have a picture over there on my bulletin board of a Jeep Wrangler. It's a new color that they have. For the, I think it was for the 2021. I've never seen it until the 2021 Jeeps. It's called Snazberry. And it's my favorite color ever. And I have that picture up there. I'm looking at it right now because one day I'm going to own a Snazberry Jeep Wrangler. It is my dream color and my dream car. And one day it's going to be mine. <laughs> This made me think of that because this isn't the exact color. Um, it's, it's a bit different, but like, yeah. One day I'm gonna have it, but this color is amazing. Definitely reminds me of the snazberries that I've seen. There's somebody in town that has one 
in the Jeep Gladiator and then someone that has a Jeep Wrangler. I just, one day I'm going to have it. Okay, sock sets, which are absolutely beautiful. And she is actually going to have, let me look here because I wrote it down. Um, a pre-order for these, the Succulent Garden Collection, which includes this sock set and the next one I'm going to show. And that is April 16th through April 18th. And I also have a coupon code to share in just a moment. Um, this is the Succulent Garden set. It is an 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, same um, base, the Texas Strong Fingering. Comes with the full skein and two mini skeins. Look how beautiful. Look at that side. There's more purple on this side. Oh, so pretty. So that is one sock set. And then the other one is the cactus sock set. Same base, same thing, 100 gram, and then two mini skeins absolutely beautiful. I love these colorways. So the coupon code that Shelly has given us is crazy sock lady, and you can get 15% off your order. And that code is good from April 16th. So it's good from the date the pre-orders go up to May 31st. So make sure you head over and check out Shelly's shop and thank you so much for sending those Shelly those are going to make some amazing prizes and I might have to knit something out of that mold Merlot maybe a Musselburg hat for wearing in my Snazberry Jeep one day okay next thing um we had a couple prizes come in for summer sock camp already which is so exciting and if you are a maker and you want to donate to summer sock camp reach out to me at summer camp at gmail.com or just the p.o box is listed down below but please make sure you put a note in the package stating that it is a prize for summer sock camp because i'm storing those completely separate from what's here in the cabin so that i don't get them confused <laughs> all right is this the Oh no, that one's not the prize for camp. We have two prizes for camp. So this one is from Donna's Designs. And if they are in something like this, I'm leaving them in here to store them so they're nice and pretty still. So this is from Donna's Designs. It's a cute project bag with campers on it. A zippered bag with a box bottom. does have the handle right here which is always nice you could take it off and use it as a key fob if you wanted super cute and she has also given us a coupon code it is csl15 and that has no end so you can get 15 percent off and she didn't put an end date on that she said so i will have all these shops linked below if there's a coupon code they'll be below as well but this is absolutely adorable and i opened this and told erica i was like this is perfect for camp look it's little campers. So, so, so cute. I was so excited to start getting prizes for camp. For me, that's the most exciting thing about any knit along is the prizes that I get to give away at the end and just thinking it might make somebody's day to get those prizes in the mail. So I love it. Okay, this next one is from Kim Briggio of Bridgefield Fiberworks. And this is for camp as well. Kim sent over this beautiful skein of yarn called, the colorway is called Trapeze. And this is on the Avenue sock base. It's her 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 463 yards. Absolutely beautiful and then she also sent over these cute little items 
she said she sent two of each item, one for me and one for the prize pack. So they'll go with the yarn. So she sent two magnets. And then two pins. These are so cute. I'm gonna put these on a bag with my summer sock camp pins. And then two progress keepers. These are adorable. I don't know how she makes those, but they're so, so cute. So thank you so much, Kim, for sending those over. Okay, those are the ones we received for Summer Sock Camp. Then we have one that's gonna be our giveaway for this episode. And this is from Courtney and Heather of the Happy Mermaid Yarn Co. And they just sent such a fun package. They said to keep it or use it for a prize or a giveaway. And it's just so perfect all like in its complete package that I'm like, we have to do this for a giveaway. So there's, here's their logo. They sent a magnet, which is adorable. And then they sent just a fun little package that has a lavender sachet, some Skittles, tea. But then they sent a project bag that has their logo on it as well. That mermaid is just beautiful. The colors, absolutely gorgeous. So this is a zippered bag with a boxed bottom. And then they sent some yarn. This is a full skein that's on their fingering glitter base, which is a 7025 blend. Superwash Merino Nylon and Stellina, 438 yards to 100 grams. Light fish in the reef is what it is called. Absolutely beautiful. And then it has two mini skeins to go along with it. So fun. So this is going to be our giveaway for this episode. All you have to do, um, the whole package, not just the yarn the yarn, the bag, the little treats package they send. All you have to do is comment down below this video, anything at all. And that will enter you in for the giveaway. So thank you so much to all of the makers who sent items over. If you ever want to donate to anything, um, the podcast knit alongs, um, for summer sock camp, use the summer sock camp email, but any other things, crazy sock lady podcast at gmail.com. And, and we can work that out or just the PO box is always listed down below as well. I always, always, always love showing off small businesses. It's so much fun. Now we have giveaway winners from last episode. So last episode, we gave away the row one yarn. Things are falling. The Row One Yarn subscription for this month. And I went through the comments, did random comment picker. And our winner is Deborah Barton. So congratulations, Deborah. If you would just get in touch with me at crazy sock lady podcast at gmail.com, I will just need your shipping information and I can get that sent out to you. Thank you so much to everybody who is participating in these giveaways, the makers who are donating for these giveaways. They've been so much fun to do. I think I've said that like a million times, but they're so much fun. And I actually think that's kind of it. I had like chatter wrote down like, We've been working on the diamond painting and I'm doing lots of prep for camp, but I've already talked about all that. <laughs> and that's really all that's been going on. So much fun, so exciting, but it's gonna be like complete madness for this month and May, I, most of May probably. And then I can't wait for like camp to start. I've already decided I'm just going to knit all the socks this summer and see how many I can knit. I'm probably gonna try to do at least one pair in like every 
method, like two at a time, magic loop, nine inch, deep pins, flyers, two circulars, a sock with every method, because how fun is that? And then um, maybe, oh, there's a squirrel. If I was faster, I'd turn the camera around, but I feel like if he saw all that, he would take off. They're so cute. Um, maybe I'll try toe up. So many of you have sent me so many good pattern suggestions for toe up, so I appreciate that. And I've definitely looked into all of those and saved those for future reference. But maybe I'll dive into that this summer. But I definitely want to see like how many socks can I knit this summer. And I also want to like I'm gonna make socks be my 30 minutes of knitting in the morning, excuse me. And with doing that, I'm just gonna do 30 minutes a day. I'm gonna time how long it takes me to complete a full pair of socks because I get asked that so often. Like, how long does it take? And I'm like, well, I never like just sit down and knit a full pair at once so I'm not really sure honestly <laughs> I know I can get almost a pair done in a day if I am like traveling and on a plane for a super long time but yeah I think I'm gonna do 30 minutes of knitting is a pair of socks over the summer and then I can figure up you know how many days of 30 minutes of knitting did it take me to complete that sock so what are you guys do you have challenge, like a thing set for yourself for camp already or no, or you're just gonna kind of wing it. Cause that's always fun too. just dive in and see what happens. <laughs> but okay. I think that's it for today. I'm just going to start rambling at this point. So thank you guys so much for joining me for today. Don't forget to enter for the giveaway for um, the yarn and bag set from mermaid yarn co and I will see you guys again next week. And don't forget about the VIP camper slots, April 15th at 9 a.m. Eastern. I would definitely set an alarm for those if you really want one. That is what I would suggest. Um, and the merchandise, April 20th at 9 a.m. Eastern. So don't forget about those things that are coming up before I will be back here to record another episode. But I will see you guys again next week. Until then, happy making. Bye.